Hello everyone, my name is April. This is my very first YouTube video that I'm posting on my channel. Uh, quick facts about me, I'm from Taiwan. I've been studying in Hong Kong for three years for university and I am currently doing this video in Malaysia. This is my trip on my Easter holiday to Malaysia and Cambodia. The trip will be consist of eight days. The first two days I'll be in Malaysia. Next five days I'll be in Cambodia and then the last day I'll fly back to Kuala Lumpur and then I'll fly back to Hong Kong. So, uh, I've started backpacking two years ago in 2012 summer to Vietnam and after that I've been in love with it. It's such a good experience and uh, you can do it, it's so cheap, you can do the backpacking in such a budget way. And you will are, you are get so much experience, you will see so much. So, after that I've been going to Indonesia, Singapore, Philippines and the US. It's such a great time and back then I wish I would I could have Googled a lot more stuff online to look for a lot of the a lot of the backpacking tips but I didn't and I couldn't find a lot of useful stuff. So here I am to show you the best tips for backpacking throughout my two year experience and then I'll show you my trip when I along with me when I'm on the trip. So stay tuned for my channel. Today I will be talking about how to pack light for a short-term backpack trip. And then when I mean short-term backpack trip, that's around like seven to ten days tops. And I'll be showing you what I pack in my luggage and what I have in my carry-on bag. Hi, so now I'm gonna introduce my traveling backpack. This backpack is not really like the backpacker's backpack that you will see. This is a North Face backpack. It's whole waterproof and then it has straps like this so you can hold it on your shoulders. Uh, this backpack is, other, is different from the normal backpacks but I like it a lot more. First, it's a lot lighter. The normal backpacker's backpack, they're a lot heavier. They do have a lot of different pockets but the pockets are quite small and then you kind of have, just have to stuff your stuff inside. Sometimes your stuff get really stuffed up. And for this backpack, it has a bigger space than a normal backpacker's backpack. The space is a lot bigger and then look, you can see here, it's actually the whole space area here. So it's really easy for you to organize your stuff. And now, the first backpacking tip is to travel light. Bring the stuff that you will definitely need and then if you are not sure whether you really need it, then you possibly don't really need it. So first I'll be introducing what I pack for my 8 days traveling trip. First I'll be taking out this. I like to organize my backpack into like little bags or little pouches just to keep things organized and then like not to get things spilled around in your bag. First this is my backpack. I got this at Ross I guess. Uh, this is a very very useful backpack. I will show you when I open it up. This is a waterproof backpack inside, so inside I put all my travel size skincare products and then remember to bring drugs like painkillers and the stomach thing and then my aloe vera gel, my sunscreen and everything that I will need for a travel size skincare thing. And then for the other section, it actually divides into the other section. The other section I brought my travel size shampoo, travel size hand conditioner my condolences cleanser and my travel size comb like everything is very small I put all the things that I will be using in the toilet in this side all the things I will not be using in this toilet but I still have a risk of spilling in the other side next I will be introducing how I pack my clothes for this 8 day trip I didn't pack a lot of clothes this is all the clothes I packed as you can see it's not that big and this is a very very useful bag because it divide it is self divided into so many different sections. So when you open it, you can see it's actually like this. Like it has a lot of different layers that you can put different kinds of stuff. So how I organize it, the first layer I put my tops, second I put my bottoms, here I put my inner wares, the next one I put my towels, and the last one I put my bikini. So for tops, in this 8 day trip, I only brought 5 tops, including all 10 cups dresses and those, like including the first one that I was wearing to the airport. It's only 5 tops. 
pork bottoms. I brought one extra pair of shorts and a pair of sports shorts. Remember to wear, bring at least a set of sports clothing because you never know where you're gonna go. Like sometimes plan just changes when you're traveling and you might have to do some like hiking or like, you have to do like trekking and stuff. And then remember to bring a towel, it's very essential, and then bring enough underwear because the last thing you want is to not have any clean underwear to wear. That's very disgusting. Last, I brought my bikinis, okay? For next, I will be introducing what I got for the other stuff in my bag. I have a pair of shoes I brought. These are my Nike running shoes just in case I have to do a lot of walking or I have to do some hiking and then I'll have a pair of sports shoes for me to wear. Other than that, I only have another pair of slippers that I actually walk. I actually wear to the airport with me to traveling. And here I have a duffel bag that I can be folding up into this size. This is a very useful duffel bag because you always, like you never really know how much stuff you will end up buying in the other country. And then having this bag, I just kind of have, it's, you, you're just being prepared to have other storage space for you when you're going back home. Next, I will have my electronic little gadgets over here. Okay, I forgot to put it back in my bag. So it's over here. I know it's really ghetto that I've actually put it in a Ziploc bag. So I have my camera charger, my travel, all time travel charger, so that it fits into all the different kinds of plugs. And then this, this is actually my keyboard for my iPad. It looks like this. I actually use just an iPad cover to cover it up. And then I have a little, another little pouch. This is. This is super important that you should bring while you're traveling. This is a power bank for either your iPhone, or your iPad, or other other phones that you can have. And then it charges your phone while you are while you can you can't really charge it. And then it, it has this is a five hundred five thousand and two hundred I think it's mAh five thousand two hundred mAh one that actually charges two times for your iPhone so it's pretty handy. Next I have my glasses here so if you're nearsighted or you're farsighted you have to wear glasses right. This is actually a sunglasses holder so I put both my glasses and my sunglasses inside in the same holder just to save some space. Next I will have a few packs of tissues you always have to bring those. And then I have my ukulele with me. Well, this is totally optional because I've been obsessed with playing my ukulele for the past months. So I just brought it to travel with me in case I get super bored. And I have an extra plastic bag. This is very handy. So when you have any wet clothes or if you have any dirty laundry, make sure that you put it into a bag before you put it into your travel bag. Because like you don't want to you, you don't want to get anything else dirty other than itself okay so that's it next I'll be talking about my to-go bag that I carry with me all the time during traveling this is the only bag that I brought with me since I like I've just said you should always travel light so I'm not Brian bring any other to-go bags and stuff First, this is my favorite, favorite camera bag. I have a few camera bags, but this is the one that I bought recently. It's like my all-time favorite. First, the color is so cute. It's in teal color, and then it's like light brown over here. And then it has a lot of pockets that's, that fits all your requirements for a decent bag. When I open it, you can see my camera is over here. It is very nice organized. It has a middle patch over here that separates your camera and your other belongings. The camera is over here that takes up quite a lot of space. But other than that, I have my travel little pouch that I carry all my foreign currencies with. And I have my, excuse me. I have my passport book. <coughs> excuse me. I have my passport book over here that has my passport and my like, traveling documents and stuff. So it fits here perfectly as well. 
And in this layer over here, I've just put all my cameras uh, accessories like the batteries here, the timer, and my micro XD card. And over here, this is the part I love the most. Like, if you have an iPad mini, like I do, like it will be so, like this bag will be so good for you. Because like, in this layer, it's actually specially designed for tabs, tablets. So for an iPad mini, like this, you can actually just perfectly fit into the sleeves over here, like this. Oh my god, this is the best design ever because I never actually have a bag to actually have a special sleeve for my iPad. And then it, it actually says over here that there is actually a special pocket for iPads. Super, super nice. Next, I will ha there's like a front pocket over here that I put my earphones and my little stuff inside. It has two side pockets that you can actually fit your water bottle and stuff, but like currently I don't have a water bottle to fit inside. And there is last, there's a front pocket that you can actually put the stuff that you actually use this the most. Or you can put some wet napkins and stuff. Last but not least, I have a pack of napkins over here just in case that you have to use napkins. And I have this, the hand sanitizer over here because your hands are always dirty when you're traveling, if you know what I'm talking about. So that is, that's it for what I have when I'm traveling. Tip, again, travel light. Don't bring way too much stuff that you don't really need. If you, if you want like a to go bag just bring one or bring at least uh, at most two don't bring a lot of stuff if you have shoes don't bring like five pairs of shoes because like you'll probably not need that much pair of shoes for girls like a lot of girls i know like they do makeups and stuff but uh for traveling your your face just tend to get so dirty every day especially when you're traveling in southeast asia when you're when it's hot and humid so I don't really recommend wearing makeup when you are doing backpacking and that gives you a lot less to bring with you. So this is the end of my first video. I really hope you guys like it and find it useful. If you are interested in the bags that I mentioned in the video, I'll try to find the link and post it down below in the information box. And do comment on this video and let me know what you guys would like to know more about backpacking and then post a lot of questions. I'll try to answer them all. And stay tuned for the next video, I'll be talking about my Malaysia and Cambodia trip day by day. How to get to the airport, how to transfer to the town, how to book a nice hotel, everything. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!